Hi all, so I'm back out in the garage again trying to get a few more things cracked on the to-do list on the, the Exo Booster whilst the weather's still cold and hopefully when spring arrives I'll be ready to rock and roll. So this video is going to do another one about connectors but one of the people on the Exo Booster forum has been asking about swirl pots and how mine's connected. Do a quick little video on what they are, why they are and what's the point in them I suppose. So that's the swirl pot on my car. Basically the way I kind of think of it is it's a sort of a fuel reservoir. I, you know, I'm no expert on this so I won't pretend to know the full ins and outs. But on my car I've got, I don't know if you can see that, so that's the driver's seat there. The fuel tank's directly behind as there's another one uh, directly behind the passenger seat they're both flat bottom so to my mind a swell pot is a little bit like the same reason you'd have a dry sump on a car you really i don't think you'd need one on a road car though don't take anything i'm saying now it's gospel this is only as far as i know so my my understanding of the reason for a swell pot for a car you're going to track to a race is when you go around a corner fast all the fuel sloshes to one side in the tank that slosh is away from the pickup, uh, you know, the outlet, the fuel outlet, it's not going to get to your engine. Your engine is going to be sucking air. So basically, you pump fuel into this. I think, I think it's two litres. Then directly blow their gravity fed. I've got one of those massive great fuel filters. And then, it's going to be difficult to do. And then down there... This thing here is my high pressure fuel pump, which pumps the high pressure fuel up that black hose here into the fuel rail. Then on the way out the fuel rail, so you have to excuse this wiring, I'm still doing the wiring. It's the fuel regulator and it comes out of there. If the fuel pot, what's left over, if the fuel pot's swirl let's try that again put my new teeth in the swirl pot isn't full it will go into the swirl pot if it is it goes down this fuel line which goes back into the top of the tanks so some of the fuel just kind of goes around in circles to fill to pump from the tanks into there i've got again it's so difficult to see on it you have to take my word for it down there I've got a couple of small pumps which are normally referred to as lift pumps. So the way the system kind of works is, is you've got fuel tank, it drains into a lift pump, in my case two lift pumps because I had one fail uh, and it left me stranded halfway between home and Castle Coombe so I thought I'll have two, they're quite cheap. So if one fails it still works. Anyway, so fuel tank, lift pump and that pump or low pressure pump some people call them that pumps the fuel into the swirl pot comes out the swirl pot goes into the high pressure pump from the high pressure pump it goes in to the fuel rail comes out if it's not used fuel regulator makes sure the pressure in the fuel rail is correct then it can either go from there back into the swirl pot or back into the tanks that's about it really what I'll do is do a little drawing as well, because my going blah 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 blah. If your brain works anything like mine, a little drawing would be much easier. So yeah, so hopefully uh, Ziggy, with your your very cool but hopefully going soon Exo Booster, this will all make sense to you. I would also add they're not a hundred percent necessary by any means. So another guy with an Exo Booster. Mentioning just about the entire ownership of Exo Boosters here now with Kevin and Ziggy. He doesn't run a swirl pot on his. He has done way more track days than I have and has no problem at all. He does have, a, I believe, it's a fairly f small fuel tank up the front. I don't know if the shape's different or something, I'm not too sure. But no doubt with a well designed fuel tank, also people talk about heavily baffling or putting in that blue 
there's that special blue foam stuff that you have to put in the fuel tanks if you're racing that will kind of baffle the fuel so that it doesn't slosh around as much may well work as well um, I think this is one of these things that's like, you know, the old um, many ways to skin a cat kind of thing. Anyway, there we go. That's the waffling. Bye. Here's my stunning drawing of the fuel system, including the fuel pot, swirl of pot. So we've got a fuel tank. Fuel runs along the fuel line, goes into the lift pump, which goes into the swirl pot. Comes out of there into a fine filter into the high pressure pump, into the fuel rail and injectors and engine and all that stuff. And we go out through a regulator that makes sure that the pressure is correct inside that fuel rail. This is obviously the fuel that hasn't gone in the engine and isn't been burnt. Through the regulator, along, then it's teed off. If the swell pot isn't full, it goes in the swell pot. If it is full, it goes in the fuel tank and that's about it really now you get to see another stunning drawing so the idea of this is that's my fuel tank and for reasons best known to the designers I use designers in a very loose sense of the world when it comes to an exo booster the fuel outlet is on one side so when you're going along in a straight line that's the fuel all happy Go around the corner, especially you say if you were doing a track down at Mallory and you go around Gerard's, which takes ages, all your fuel sloshes over to that side. Your fuel outlet's there, your fuel pump is just pumping air. You're trying to pump air into the engine, you don't really go anywhere until you slow down enough that the fuel sloshes back over. Fuel, the pump's then got something to pump on, and the car fires up again. Uh, the, the other sort of thing to note with this is if you're having trouble on particularly long corners like Gerard's and it's okay when the tank is full but then after a few laps it starts misfiring and spluttering this is probably what's going on because obviously a fuel tank full of fuel tank you're going to be pumping fuel all the time anyway I hope that is helpful to anybody who is asking the same question as Ziggy is what is a swell pot and why would I want one? And the answer is, well, that's what they are. They're mainly for if you're doing track stuff. And from my understanding, if you've got a well-designed fuel tank and you keep it topped up or reasonable level, you probably don't need one anyway. But I'm no expert. Bye. I shall be a new video coming along next week, hopefully. And can you do all the normal stuff? It'd be absolutely great if you got this far in the video. It would be great if you could like and subscribe. I'm trying to get this channel up to a thousand subscribers. And that way, YouTube give me a few of the pennies they make from the adverts, which will help me quite a lot. Thank you. Bye. Hi. Thanks for getting to the end of the video. If you're not already subscribed, please do so now. Just hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell button and that way YouTube will tell you when there's any new videos. We've got some big plans ahead for the channel including possibly a car build from scratch. So if you want to get involved with that, now's the time to subscribe. Cheers then, bye.